What if one man's decisions could reshape the very foundation of U.S. military power and ignite fears of unprecedented conflicts? Could his return to the Oval Office be the spark for a new global arms race? How did Donald Trump's presidency send shockwaves through the U.S. armed forces? And what might his potential 2024 return mean for America's security and the world stage? Welcome to Military Recon, where we march into the most intense and dramatic stories from military history and modern warfare. Before we deploy, make sure to subscribe, lock in the notification bell for updates, and sound off in the comments below. Now gear up and let's get started. In today's episode, we're unpacking the seismic shifts brought about during Donald Trump's tenure as Commander-in-Chief. From the chaotic decisions made in the heat of high-stakes situations, to the bold strategies that rattled even the closest U.S. allies. Trump's military legacy is as controversial as it is consequential. But there's more. What could happen if he returns to power under the banner of Make America Great Again in 2024, potentially alongside a VP like J.D. Vance? How could his past actions, combined with future ambitions, reshape America's global standing in ways you won't expect? Buckle up, because this story is far from over. Donald Trump's presidency was nothing short of a whirlwind for the U.S. military. From day one, he promised to overhaul the defense sector, and he made good on that promise by pushing for a massive increase in defense spending. This was no small adjustment. Trump's administration authorized billions in additional funds, aiming to rebuild and modernize the armed forces to maintain American dominance. New tanks, cutting-edge drones, Advanced AI in warfare and hypersonic missile development were all part of his vision. Trump wanted a military powerhouse, one that was second to none. On paper, it sounded like the rejuvenation the Pentagon had long awaited. But behind the headlines of military modernization, there were turbulent waves of controversy. One of the most nerve-wracking aspects of Trump's presidency was his unpredictable, high-pressure diplomacy with North Korea. His sharp rhetoric and fiery exchanges with Kim Jong-un created a global atmosphere of nuclear brinkmanship. The world held its breath as Trump issued public threats, only to pivot to an unprecedented face-to-face -face meeting with Kim. Some called it a diplomatic masterstroke. Others feared it would push the world into nuclear war. While the historic meeting did ease tensions momentarily, many wondered if the risky strategy would backfire and lead to a catastrophic conflict. What's more, these bold moves set a precedent for future engagements with adversaries. Was this a glimpse of Trump's military strategy if he returns to power? Trump's relationship with the military wasn't just about strategy on the battlefield, it was personal. His public disputes with top military leaders raised eyebrows across the nation. From clashing with General James Mattis to issuing controversial orders regarding the use of military force during domestic unrest, Trump found himself at odds with the very people tasked with carrying out his defense policies. Civil military relations during his presidency became fraught with tension, and at times it seemed the commander in chief was going to war with his own generals. Could this unpredictable leadership style return to the White House? And what would that mean for military operations at home and abroad? His decision to deploy military forces during times of civil unrest, such as the protests following George Floyd's death, stirred significant public debate. To many, it looked like a dangerous blurring of the lines between civilian law enforcement and military power. These actions led to further division, raising questions about the proper role of the military in domestic affairs. A debate that could resurface if Trump reclaims the presidency. While his time in office was marked by military confrontations, Trump also focused heavily on technological advancements. He made massive investments in cutting-edge military technologies from cybersecurity defenses to autonomous weapons and space defense initiatives. The establishment of the U.S. Space Force, which drew widespread attention and criticism, was a key part of Trump's futuristic vision for American defense. He believed that the next global conflict might be fought not just on land, sea, or air, but in cyberspace and the stars. But this rapid technological escalation came with significant risks. Many feared that Trump's aggressive push for technological superiority would ignite an arms race with other superpowers, namely China and Russia. This leads to a critical question. 
What would happen if Trump returned to power in 2024 with the intent to double down on these advancements? Could we see the dawn of a new Cold War? Not over ideology, but over technology? The implications are staggering, and as we look at the past, it becomes clear that Trump's policies might provoke adversaries, leading to escalating global tensions and a further destabilization of international relations. Trump's approach to military alliances, particularly NATO, created ripples that are still felt today. His demand for greater burden sharing from NATO allies strained long-standing relationships. By questioning the value of NATO and threatening to pull out if European nations didn't increase their defense spending, Trump created a climate of uncertainty. Allies began to wonder, could they still count on the US in times of crisis? This unpredictable foreign policy could have lasting consequences if Trump re-enters the global stage. Will America continue to honor its commitments to NATO or could Trump's return lead to further weakening of these crucial alliances? As tensions rise in Eastern Europe, particularly with Russia's actions in Ukraine, the strength of NATO is more critical than ever. But with Trump at the helm, could these alliances crumble, leaving a power vacuum for adversaries to exploit? Speaking of Ukraine, Trump's possible return could signal a dramatic shift in how the U.S. handles the ongoing conflict. Trump has hinted at a reduction in U.S. support for Ukraine possibly negotiating directly with Russia to resolve the conflict. Such a move would have far-reaching consequences, not only for Ukraine's sovereignty, but also for the broader balance of power in Europe. What happens if the U.S. steps back? Could this embolden Russia to push further into Europe, testing the limits of Western tolerance? Trump's approach might redefine international relations as we know them. Critics fear that his foreign policy could make the world more dangerous, with potential flashpoints emerging across multiple regions. On the flip side, supporters argue that Trump's aggressive stance would reinstate America's dominance and force adversaries to think twice before crossing any red lines. Another key element to consider is the influence of a potential running mate like J.D. Vance. Vance, known for his strong populist views, could push Trump's military strategies into even more unorthodox territory. Together, they could shape a more isolationist, nationalist military policy, possibly pulling back from international engagements while doubling down on protecting U.S. borders. Could this isolationism leave America more vulnerable to global threats, or would it result in a stronger, more self-reliant military? Stand by, because right after this, we'll tackle the question that's been on your mind since the beginning. To stay sharp on military stories like these, make sure to subscribe to Military Recon and lock in that notification bell. So, what is the answer to our initial question? If Donald Trump returns to power in 2024, his military policies are likely to be a continuation of his bold, unpredictable approach. His potential return could ignite global tensions, reshape alliances, and push the world closer to a new arms race. However, for his supporters, this may represent the restoration of American dominance. Either way, the implications for the U.S. military and global security would be profound, and the stakes could not be higher. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this mission. We'll be back with more hard-hitting content right here on Military Recon. Stay mission-ready, and we'll see you in the next briefing.